moment you can see a small demonstration scene where the ecosystem of the blank patch in the field and the ring of toadstools is connected to a rock. What we're going to look at today is how we can attach an ecosystem to an object that enables it to be moved independently within the scene. Let's get started. I've created in the scene a plane and a sphere. Just a simple plane. I've made the plane 30, uh, 100 meters square because I know I'm going to be adding trees to the ecosystem so it needs to be large enough to accommodate the items. The sphere is literally just a sphere. I've only made it red just so it's easy for you to see what's happening. So if we look at the plane and the material of the plane, we're going to make this a very simple ecosystem and we're going to add a tree. Let's use a scotch pine for, because it's easy. Just going to do a couple of little changes before we get started because I don't like that variation in the trees. You'll note before we start looking at the density controls that the mapping is set to world standard. Any other setting in this, this little trick won't work. So let's go to variable density and this is only uh, edited via the function editor. So if you don't have access to the function editor, this won't work for you. So let's have a look at the functions. Let's tidy up the workspace before we get started. Okay, so let's look at the output tabs initially. We have color, we have density and scaling. Density is the tab that we really need to be looking at because we're going to control the density. We're going to control the density by using a texture map. So I'm going to use a projected texture map, which I will link to density as a grayscale. Let's look at the settings within the projected texture map. First of all, let's put a texture in there. I'm just going to use a, a simple uh, fading circle. We need to look at the tiling mode. We only want one isolated clump of ecosystem, so it's important that we change both of these in X and Y axes to once. Next thing we need to look at, at this moment in time, we have a, uh, an ecosystem which is governed by this projected texture, but we're looking for this ecosystem to be linked to the sphere. To do this, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add an input node and I'm going to look at the external dependency. This basically means the object to which the ecosystem will be attached. We have a problem initially because Vue will not allow us to connect directly to the projected texture node. To do this, we need to expand the options below the texture node and where we'll see origin. We know that this is the right tab because Vue tells us it's highlighted in yellow. Okay. The next thing we need to do is just tell Vue within the external dependency what object we are linking to, which is the position of the sphere. Okay, everything's done there. Let's get back to the material itself. I'm going to make it a dynamic population, and I'm also going to increase the density simply to show the extent of the circular ecosystem which we've created. Let's do a preview and see what happens. Okay, so the ecosystem is populated, but you can see in the preview that only one tree has populated. The important thing to remember when we're, when we're working in Vue is that scale is all important. Vue is set up to create a real world simulation and that means that objects, so for instance the um, tree, is set up to real world size. So we're only getting one tree so that would seem to suggest to me that the circle that is controlling the population is too small. So let's go ahead and change the size of this image we're going to make it 30 times bigger i know this because i've done this before let's go back to the material editor and let's do the preview you can see very very quickly that we now have a clump of trees those trees are populating 
directly below the sphere. So let's go and move the sphere and see what happens. So let's get the sphere and let's move it around just so we can demonstrate that the ecosystem is moving alongside the sphere. We can see in the preview window, we'll do a quick preview render. This will show us that the ecosystem has moved to the top left hand corner of the, the plane. We'll go ahead again and we will move the sphere to the bottom right hand corner. We should see in the preview that the ecosystem has moved. Again, we'll do a preview render just to clarify. And there you have it, a very simple way of controlling clumps of trees, buildings, cars, people, anything you like within an ecosystem. I hope you found this beneficial and please feel free to give us some feedback via Facebook or Twitter. Thank you very much.